Approximately 9 million Jews inhabited Europe by the 1930s. Before 1933, Jews and the Jewish environment existed like any ordinary culture in Europe. Eli Wiesel, one of those million Jews, lived a normal life in Seget, Transylvania. He lived with his parents and three siblings. However, in 1933, Hitler and the Nazi party came into power and began their path of destruction. The life began to drain from Europe. Eli's life and the life of all Jews were doomed to change. It began with simple laws. Laws were made to restrict the rights of Jews, including marriage bans and forcing Jews to live in consolidated housing, or ghettos. Eli was forced to move into one of the two ghettos in Seget. Next, the Nazis stripped the Jews of their belongings and deported the Jews via freight train to concentration camps. Upon arrival, Eli was separated from his mother and sisters. These concentration camps were implemented to work the Jews and to ultimately exterminate them. Eli and his father worked hard and endured the worst nightmares during their 11-month experience. The Nazis surrendered in May 1945, shortly after Eli's father's death. At this time, Jews were liberated from the concentration camps. Eli had survived. The Jews, numbering about 6 million less than before 1933, were free at last. Eli, along with the rest of the survivors, began rebuilding their lives, or what was left of them. As a way of coping with the horrible atrocities of the Holocaust, people began to share stories of their experiences and memorialize the victims. Some survivors decided to write about the Holocaust, including Wiesel, who wrote Night a decade following his liberation. The memoir exists to implant his experiences in his readers' memories, a way of remembering and memorializing the victims. Wiesel, in his story, while widely known around the globe, is just one of many. Thank you.